I got this one, stop playing for a couple months, come back to it, and it's like, okay, where did I leave off? And I actually learned last time I picked up the game that I'm not that far off. And there's, and I thought I had to do one other thing. And turns out, no, you don't have to do that. So I'm actually way closer than I ever thought I would be. It's still a whole bunch of stupid grinding crap that I'm going to have to do, but... I... I feel like this isn't the final thing. At the same time, I want to get slightly higher level. <laughs> in case it is the final thing. Okay, daggers, bows, and arrows, and swords. Okay, so you'll fall down with that. That way I don't worry about you hitting anyone. I had the wrong weapon on her. <laughs> Damn it. Nah, I'm not going to do anything like that. So far, well. I should maybe... Go back and switch Ophelia in. Cause these guys, I think a couple other ones had light and their vulnerability. So, Ophelia actually has light magic. And she's a healer. I think I would switch out Cyrus. I like Cyrus. He's definitely a fave, but at the same time, I need to have a good balance. Kill it. Thank you. Why oh, I love you, Ethereum. So I may just run back to the village and switch in Ophelia. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass, but whatever. I'll do it. Ugh. It was on my saving grace anytime I even do recording or streaming or whatever is I have a little USB fan that I love that is pointing at my back that is somewhat quieter than my regular fan so it just works out that I can keep it on without it being too obtrusive. It's not great and it'd be great if I could just have great weather. And never have to use it. But I also... Technically, I have good weather. Because I live in California. But at the same time, I am just... Hate the heat that is. I just have to avoid outside noise. I get heat and little circulation. And that's where I get the problem with my recording options at this moment. I do these for me. Certainly for other people too, but at the same time, these are my goal and these were primarily a kind of self-improvement, self thing of let me get out of my shell and out of my head a little bit. And if I blab and say the same thing multiple times it's usually because I've thought it in my head more than once or I was thinking it in my head before I even said it the first time and so I don't remember whether or not I actually said it but I know I remember thinking about it so hopefully I'll start to remember okay I already said this in a video or whatnot but at the same time or I may say things on Twitter even. I said I was gonna stream on Twitter. That's why I prepped and planned for it. I got a new standby screen specifically for One Piece with my the character who Power Warriors 3 made me fall in love with. So 
And I'll explain why when I finally get into that stream and finally am able to do that stream. Like I said, hopefully tonight, cross my fingers. I have no guarantees, but at the same time, I'm, I want to be able to do it. I feel like I can't guarantee crap like that. Uh, you're gonna hit harder than the rat over there, so. Let's do a fart. Do damage. That's all you really need to do. Damage. Yeah. I am gonna slowly burn out on this game. In the aspect of recording it, I don't think there's a lot here in terms of recording. The stories are very bare bones, very predictable in some cases, slightly irritating in other cases, <laughs> but it's a solid game and I'll give it that and I enjoy sharing it and recording it and this is the first one that I've honestly dedicated more time to recording than any other game so far, so I'm happy to do it at the same time. I'm trying to find other things. Let's change party. We're going to put in Ophelia instead of Cyrus. Luckily they're close to the same level. Oh, I have no concerns there. Yay! Okay. Oh yeah, Ophelia still has her son. Oh crap, I forgot about that dude. That dude's just been wandering, following us. Okay. Whip, learn skills. Okay, you got your first one. Spearhead. Attack a single foe with a pole arm and act earlier on your next turn. Become really targeted by foes for three turns. Unleash a sword attack on a single foe. Increase the user's physical defense for three turns. Attack random foe with pole arm five to ten times. That one's one. Ugh. I feel like this one would be good if I had this one. Oh uh, man. I'm actually gonna go for stealth ball first. I wonder if that only increases his, or he can increase others with it. Because it seems like it's a self-increase, not a group or other party member increase to defense. I'm not too worried. Okay, Ophelia. Even though none of these have light. I feel like the light people are going to avoid me now that I have Ophelia on me. Good lord, I never know how to spell Ophelia's name. And I'm pretty sure I spelled it O P H E L I A. And that's what I saw online for a lot of people. And then the games now. Oh, Lord, whatever. I'm not going to really concern myself with it. It's just annoying. Well, 
wrap boys up and increase the shit. Donate AP. Do that. Can't remember if I gave her a better staff or not. killed it, so I'll be happy about that. Okay, almost level 6. Pretty sure I went in with Teresa and like 8, 9 territory, even though the recommended level is 12. Turned out okay. So, I'm only to do that with Ulrich also. Just was doing so many, many grinding things is annoying. This doesn't have terrible grinding experience. Actually, it kind of does, because I don't think I can mindlessly do this. I mean, when they get to a high enough level where I can care less about breaking enemies, even then, I don't think that will ever be the case. I just don't think this is a fun grinding system as much as it could be. Like, just let me auto battle. <laughs> If I already know the weakness, let the characters automatically attack with their we the correct weakness and whatnot. Because again, that does that beautifully. It's freaking Digimon. <laughs> Digimon Cyber Sleuth. And I'm actually, I've heard about and seen images of Digimon Survive, which is a game in the style of I believe it's called XCOM because people are comparing Mario Rapids to XCOM I've never played XCOM so I don't get the comparison but at the same time okay I'll accept that they're similar so but basically it is a Digimon game in that style and it looks good and I have no problem with it there's a variety of Digimon in it and that was my main issue, I think, with the Digimon World, I think it was, that came out in between the Cyber Sleuth games. And my only issue with that is you had two Digimon that were in your party. So, no. I want my catalog of Digimon that I can collect. I mean, it's sort of was trying to do that in that game because I'm trying to I'd like to get all the evolutions and clear that library it is a pain in the ass to do that though or at least get all the ones I want but I'm missing like a baby and I can't find the freaking baby and it may be a baby that you don't even want till you finish the game and that's stupid That's actually one that's... No, the grinding's easy. It's just the bullshit mechanics of evolving and devolving that are pain in the ass. Mostly the ABI stat where you have to evolve and devolve to get this stat. And I actually had a case where, okay, I finally got the ABI up high enough. Turns out that the evolution, that evolution, ugh, not evolution. Um, the evolution I needed to get that ABI for 
my stats won't even get to the high point that I need it to. Like, even at like level 99, my intelligence would be too low to qualify for the evolution. Even though I got the other arbitrary stat that I had to grind, evolve, devolve, re-evolve, well, re-devolve over and over and over again for, and yeah. That's why I haven't played the game in a while and still have yet to finish it. I beat the original Cyber Sleuth. I did not meet the second one. I have issues with the second one too, besides their... I like the concept of a story overlapping with the original story. I just don't think it's... It's somewhat executed well because they overlap, they don't intersect a whole lot. Honestly, I think they intersect more than I think they should, even, if anything, which is less of a complaint, because sometimes it's like, oh, this is a continuation, it should have more of this. No, you don't need a lot of it. That was actually my issue with um, the Fully Cooly reboot, or not even reboot, it's new seasons. And it's promoted as, oh, this takes place after the original. Okay. How does that make sense? For one, Hanako is still the same age as she was in the original. If not younger, because they never really confirmed her age. But they say she's 16 in the other one, and she's viewed as in her 20s in the original. So it's like, okay. I'll assume stupid space magic half it wasn't her real age Two, even if it was her real age she was definitely 16 at her young at the actual age in the first one so who the fuck knows but that's all just so dumb and annoying but i'll assume stupid space magic half she's an alien so fine if she doesn't have an actual age but Basically, her entire character is kind of bad, and I don't like her for a good chunk of it. And it's just, okay, why? And I saw some people commenting on it because I was looking into it. Because I overall enjoyed it, but I have issues with it. But some people were saying, oh, it's because she's not being viewed through Naoto's eyes and Naoto had a more idealized version of her I'm just like no he didn't how did he and plus we were not viewing the story through Naoto's eyes in that series otherwise it would have been only things that he had seen basically Haruko is a completely different character when we meet her again with similarities to her previous self, but not exactly the same. Honestly, she seems even more immature than she did in the first one. And I think that's what annoys me more than anything. At the very least, I felt like she actually did care about Nato in some way. And some people can disagree with me on that, but she did, in some ways, help him grow and get past some of his personal hang-ups. Whereas with... Oh, good lord, I can barely remember. He... Domi? She basically just terrorized. <laughs> he Domi and he did. I don't care about you. I'm just trying to trigger you so I can get what I want out of you. <laughs> Actually, yeah, she kind of had that with Naoto as well, but she still helped him through some of his shit. And it felt way less manipulative than it did with you told me. But I don't know. This is my take on it. And I'm... Another thing I'm planning on doing is doing some anime videos. Uh, I 
I've talked about anime on here uh, in through this catalog. Um, and I've been actually going to do one specifically on the goal is to do one. I was going to do one earlier on just that one, but I felt like uh, let me wait because there's progressive that just came out and then there's regressive that's coming I think next month even because they're like back to back seasons and I'm super curious and I kind of want to see how that one turns out and what that one does because I don't think I wish it was viewed more as a spin-off and they can pull Haruko and still have but just don't connect it to the original timeline at all but they connected it to the original timeline so it's like yeah you fucked this up <laughs> cause you didn't reference it enough for me to be happy with it and what you and what you have referenced doesn't fully line up like the biggest reference is Haruko and one other character and even that other character is barely there. So. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go in after this fight. Yeah. No. So, I'm hopeful that Regressive at least does some fun with it. Because I actually really like Progressive. At least for the first few episodes, it feels very. It feels like classic Fulupuli, and the characters sort of line up a little bit, and it just—it's fun, and it has fun with itself. Especially like the very first episode, I think is the most fun with it, and the very end of that episode is like my favorite part of that entire series. That was a fun, you sort of knew going into it what was going to happen, but at the same time, when it actually does happen, it's awesome. 